All right, who can tell me what's wrong with this code right here? So we have a mailbox component right here, and we're basically just displaying how many unread messages we have. And we have an array here with the names of the messages. So we only want to display this if we actually have unread messages. So we have unread messages dot length, and if that's true, then we want to display this you have unread messages message. So that all makes sense. That should work properly. And if you see, it does work properly. But there might be a problem here that you might see. So what happens if this array is empty? What is that going to return? So let's just put this in right here. And as you can see, we now have a zero on the page. So you might be wondering, what is that doing here? Well, this is the way this AND operator works inside JavaScript. So this zero here is the length of the unread messages. So the way the AND operator works in JavaScript, let me just pop open the console here. So if you return a falsy value, let's say zero and true, then it's going to return zero. It's not going to return false like maybe you'd expect it would, but it returns the falsy value. So that also includes an empty string that is also a falsy value. So it will return that and it works in any direction. It's not just if it's not just if the falsy value is first. So zero and something true is always going to return zero. That's just the way JavaScript works. So that's why you would see this weird bug where you would return a zero instead of nothing at all like you like you would expect. And so another problem you might have in React with using the AND operator as a conditional. So let's say that we have an error component right here. Let's just put in some state here. Let's say const error set error is equal to use state. And then let's get the error component that I have over here and display it under here. Maybe we have an error in our mailbox component and we want to show that. So let's pass the error onto this component. And all this component is doing is it's just rendering it in a nice crimson color. But the way this is set up, okay, so it's a conditional. So if we do have an error, then display the error message. But uh, as you can see over here, there's actually nothing on the page right now. And if we open up the console, there is an error right here saying that nothing returned from the render. So this is because the error here is actually undefined. So whenever you initialize use state with nothing, it defaults to undefined. And so basically we're returning undefined and that is not allowed in React. If you want to return nothing, it has to be null. So that's why this is returning an error in React. So those are just a few of the problems that you might come across whenever you're using the AND operator inside your JSX code. And so the thing is, I don't really like to use the AND operator anymore. I know uh, there's a few ways to fix this. So you can do something like if unread messages length is greater than zero. So this will always return a true or false statement. Either it's greater than zero or not. So you won't have that problem where it's returning to zero. But I think the best way to do this is just to be explicit about this. And I usually just use a ternary operator for this. So I would use a ternary here. And then, so if there's a length, then we return this. But otherwise, we're going to return null. And null will have no errors when it's rendered onto the page. You won't get a zero there or anything. And we can actually do the same thing with this error. So let's say, if we have an error, then let's display this paragraph tag. Otherwise, let's just display null because you are allowed to return null from a React component and it'll just return nothing. And so now that works fine. We now have nothing here. And of course, the error still works if we actually pass something into there. Okay, so everything is working properly. Now, if you're not a big fan of ternaries, you can also just use if statements. For example, maybe you think this is a little bit hard to read. So you could also just say, if there is no error, or if error returns a falsy value, like undefined, then we can just return null. Otherwise, we can just return this like we would normally. And that works correctly. Now it's not displaying anything. 
Now it's displaying hello. So that works just fine. Either one works, it's just a matter of personal preference. We can also turn this one into an if statement as well. So we can create a new variable, show unread messages, and just set that to null, as that's gonna be the default. If, if we don't wanna display this, it'll just not display. And then if unread messages dot length is truthy, then we want to set show unread messages to this little JSX clip right here. Paste this in here. And let's change this to show unread messages. And let's add some in here so we can actually see if it works. So we should have one unread message and that works fine. So that's also a matter of personal preference. I actually like the ternary a bit better because it just looks a bit cleaner than all of this, but you can do whatever you want. But I would just recommend doing that instead of doing the and operator, just because you can run into a few different problems with the and operator. So I think it's just better to be explicit about it and just return null if you don't want to display anything. That way you're not running into any weird bugs that you have to fix later on down the line.